Good morning. Good to see you this morning. And uh, I'm sure you had an awesome, awesome worship yesterday with your family and with your cell group. Last week we talked about anger all week, and I want to just do one more uh, before we move on. So let me read from Proverbs chapter 24, verses 24 through 25. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 24 through 25. Do not make friends with a hot-tempered man. Do not associate with one easily angered. Or you may learn his ways and get yourself ensnared. The Bible says anger is contagious. How you get angry, the degree you get angry, the way what, what you show when you are angry probably had a place where you learned it, where you, where you, where you uh, contracted, I guess, is the a, is a word I'm looking for. Because anger is contagious. So the Bible says, hey, don't hang out with tempered, hot-tempered person. Because you're going to, soon enough, you're going to learn how to be hot-tempered as well. So, of course, the best person to learn patience from is Jesus. You look at how he handled the disciples for three years. He tried to share with them his mission. And they still didn't get it until he ascended and the Holy Spirit came. For some people, it's 30 and 40 years. 30 to 40 years. And God patiently waits. He's never hurried. Developing a character like that is like a good... Mm, Korean soup, you know, seolongtang, that white milky soup. You can't hurry that soup. You have to get a big pot and put, put certain bones in there, and you have to high, uh, boil it in a high temperature for a very, very long time. And if you do it right, it is a very deep taste that you get out of that soup, and it is the most delicious soup that you can have, especially in the mornings. Once in a while, you come across a restaurant they try to cheat the process. They boil it for a shorter time to save energy and money, I suppose. And they put flour in there to make it look white. Or they put milk in there to make it look white. And the minute you taste it, you know it's not the same thing. You can't microwave patience. You can't microwave godly character. It takes time. Like the tomato plant that I have behind me. I see little flowers forming and I just have to wait. Water, fertilize, and wait. And in due time, I'll have my tomatoes. I can't hurry that process. Remember Moses, the man who needed some anger management? He's the guy who killed the Egyptian soldier because the soldier was harassing one of the Hebrews. Well, after he does that, he gets kicked out or he flees Egypt. And he spends 40 years in the desert of Midia in order to become the leader that God has or God had called him to be, to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Egypt. You see, Jesus is not in a hurry. He's not into fast food style character building. You can't microwave patience. It's impossible. And what I can tell you is that the best attributes of your life is developed through a long, arduous, um, sometimes trying process. And your greatest accomplishment will be made over a long period of time. Moses 40 years in the desert of Midian. David, 13 years as a refugee in order to sit on that throne to become one of the greatest kings of Israel. Apostle Paul, 10 years plus learning, relearning who God is and what God is like, who is Jesus and the salvation. After he gets saved, you won't, you won't see Paul starting his missionary journey until that 10 plus year process is done. Every great character in the Bible, went through not a fast food process, but a long, long time process. God is not interested in microwave Christians. So get near a person of character. Moses had Jethro, didn't he, for 40 years. David had Jonathan, his best friend. Paul, I mean, just go read Romans chapter 16 and you'll see name after name after name who came around this man. To help him to become the kind of apostle that God had called him to be. Identify that person. Who is that person in your life? And maybe you can set up a schedule and meet with them once a month or you know, when you get a chance and just hang out with them. I guarantee their character, their disposition, who they are will rub off on you. Now let's say you don't have anyone like that right now. Start with Jesus. Even with that person, always hang out with Jesus. Read the Word, spend time with Him, walk with Him, talk with Him, pray to Him, and listen to Him. 
Remember, Jesus was never in a hurry. He was never late or never early. He was always on time. Patience. Patience. Hang out with Jesus. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. God bless you.